Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new template I have built for Blocks 4. It is called Factory, and it is for websites of factories, some industrial organizations, engineering companies, and stuff like that. So uh, let's open the preview here, and I'm not going to like check every single element of this template. What I want to do in this video is explain how to change a couple of things inside it, because it is not difficult, but for people who are not very familiar with these blocks, there might be some things which are not very obvious at first. So what I will do, I will open this template in blocks and you can see right away our mega menu here, but let's go back to Safari and let's see how this looks. Actually, let's browse a couple of pages and see what's different, what's important to know here. So right off the bat, you can see that it is quite beautiful template. When you load it first, there are some animations and this navigation for links will bring you to pages like home, about, support, contact, and there are a few other pages which are inside. But of course, the important thing is the products link, because when we click on the products, it will open the mega menu. And here, of course, we have the main navigation as well, but we also have the long list of the products available here. We have the individual products, we have the series, product series, we can get to this also if we go to products page and inside here we have these four series and if we click on any of them it will bring us to the series page and we can get to these pages from these head heading links as well they're all linking to the same page now because it is a template i don't need to duplicate it many times but of course when you rebuild for example the second lineup in your product page, you will change this name and you will link it to the right page, of course. So this page also has the table, these the products, and we will click on any of the products and it goes for the same links here as well. All of them are linking to the same product page. Right now it says product model 001. And this is the product page, there are some downloadable brochure. Right now I think it's linking to Blocks Master course. And if we click here, we get to the video. Of course, this is my video, but you will replace it. Or if you don't have the video for a product, you can just replace this with something else, or maybe just put something else here. Maybe instead of the video, you can have some other specifications. Maybe I do have the specifications area here and it is of course responsive as always. So if we go to products page first, you will see that, uh, I think not the products page, series page first, you can see that I have the table with the products here. And if we resize it, it will change from the tables, uh, table form to the this card form, not even card form, just the image and this text here. but for the table I have inside the product page, I have done something else. I have built it for three brick points, fully, fully responsive, as you can see. But on mobile brick point, I have just replaced it with the accordion. I think for mobile, it looks better. So what it means is for the Technical, specific, technical specifications table, sorry. You will have to modify the information for your product twice. Once for the three big brick points and once for the mobile brick point. And of course, I will show you everything how to do in a second. So let's start from the, well, from the actual menu and let's go to our project. So like I said, the menu you see here is brought by clicking on this products page. And as you can see, this products link, sorry, this products link is using the toggle class interaction. And there is a class I have created and there is the target ID for this menu. 
and the menu is just one block one actually not block one container inside of this block and you only need to change it once you don't need to change it many times for all breakpoints it is the same menu it is fully responsive of course but it is the same menu but if we go to the mobile the let's actually make it a little bit bigger so it is looking like mobile you can see that we have the mobile layout here this button is a little bit different from the product page because product page will bring the menu optimized for big breakpoints for mobile breakpoints i have a little bit different style because we need it to be scrollable on mobile so i actually created separate classes for this button you can see it says factory mega mobile and products says factory mega nav so it's not important for you as an end user if you don't want to mess this this but if you want to change it or you want to learn how i've done that why i have the separate menu here this is why i have a little bit different style menu for mobile and for desktop because on desktop we can just let's resize it back we can just open it and it will stay above everything so to close it you can click on the product file, uh, product link again or you can click on the close button here and it works quite nice but yeah for mobile we need this to be scrollable because there are lots of links it is not possible to fit everything into one screen so uh yeah i mean nothing nothing difficult here we just have this text links so when you change it select each of the links not the page not the paragraph break but you need to click on the link you can see there is a link inside each of the paragraph link and just replace it you can rename it maybe some new link you can see whatever you can change it to anything you want and you can change what page you navigate to and this this will be it nothing difficult another part i wanted to show you is this cards these are the shortcuts you can use them for maybe navigation to the product series you can for example write series one series two three four you can change it to anything you want to design you want it's up to you i just use this for for different pages on this template for example contact information will bring you to the contact page and so on what i want to show you here is that if we select these columns you can see we have columns and inside columns we have buttons so buttons give us this hover overlay effect this this gradient color and this text is applied via the button label but and also for each of these buttons i have set some uh, sizing of course the padding you can change it to make it something if you want to have the text appear in just one line you can change it to anything you want so let's say instead of 100 i will have i will have 28 and you can see that now we have these links in just one uh, one line it's up to you what to do here but what's important is this background image how do we set it well i have created four classes for each of these columns you can see big, uh, factory shot card bg1 and this is bg2 bg3 bg4 you can also go to class manager and just type bg and you will find these four columns four columns these four different images and if you want to change for example the second one you just open it and you need to drag any of the files you have and of course this template will come with some copyright free images but you can drag your own and as you can see it will replace it and fit it and crop it automatically so by doing that now we have a different image so if we go to preview you can see that it is a little bit different now so that's it for these shortcuts where else did i want to show you let's go to safari yeah everything else is pretty simple apart from this thing you can see it is quite beautiful and it is very cool looking effect and you can see i made it this way so the reviews are not always showing 100 percent 
So, as you can see when I scroll, even from the beginning, these reviews are already kind of coming out from there. And if we go further, they're moving in the opposite direction. So I think it's very cool. It is from Apple's website, by the way, the design. This is the place I take a lot of inspiration for my templates, by the way. And yeah, how do we change that? Because it is a little bit difficult to change unless you know where to look for. Okay, so as you can see, even in the preview mode, the well, if I even if I change the zoom, you can see that I can't see all of them at once. I can see all of the cards, and these are cards at once. So if you select the div container, it will have this factory testimonials class applied. So if you delete it, for example, it will just show the, all of these cards. It will show them in one column. And from here, you can change the text, of course, change the images, the names, and then just select the div container and add this class back, factory testimonials. And you can do that row by row. In this case, it is div by div. So there are three divs, and two of these going from right to left, and this is going from left to right. So when you need to change the text, delete this, change the text, change the images, then go back to this div and add the factory testimonials. Not this one, factory testimonials class, and it will be working as it should perfectly fine. Okay, so what else I wanted to show you? So this is for home page. Let's go to about page. Very simple, very beautiful, still very perfectly optimized from all breakpoints as always. And I think this is pretty straightforward. You can see that all of these are changing their layout depending on the breakpoint. But I think, yeah, everything else is quite simple here. This page as well some booking uh, buttons that are linking to some, maybe my website or something, but you can of course replace it with schedule, ac acuity scheduling, for example, or Calendly, whatever you want to use. And I think that, well, form, everything here is pretty easy. For maps, of course, you will need to change it to what you have. I have some Korean maps here. Okay, for products, Okay, let's go to products page. So this page has this section and I made it, the whole section is clickable. So because this link has the stretched link class applied, when people are hovering their mouse over any area above it, it will become a link. You can see that when I hover over, over the image, over even the space behind here, it will move to this page. So make sure that when you need to change the link, you just change it for this learn more link here. As you can see right now, it's all leaving, leading to the same product line page. Okay, so here I don't have the same structure. We have just the button, which will leave to this page and the image. So make sure you change both of them when you relink them to the other pages. But other than that, everything else is optimized and looking perfect. Okay, so for product line, like I said, we have this optimized for different breakpoints, so nothing to change here. But what we have on product page is a little bit different because like I said, we have two things. We have uh, this technical specifications table, which is looking great on MD, LG, and even SM breakpoint. You can see that the text is a little bit smaller, but it is still perfectly readable. But when we go to XS breakpoint, when we go to XS breakpoint, you can see that this table is not visible anymore because if it was visible, it will be looking like that. Obviously not what we want. And we have instead this accordion. So of course in edit mode it is opened. You can see everything inside. So you will have to adjust all of the text for this. And then when we go to preview, you 
can see that we have this design when we open one card another one closes and this is kind of sub subtype of sub models of this product obviously this is very product specific and i have done this for specific reason i'm uh, working on this website for my friend and they have some kind of uh, technical specific technical specifications like this and uh, this is what they are using there so i i guess it is what you should have for types for websites like this but if you're building something else for example like smartphones obviously this will look different and maybe you don't even need to create two of the separate tables and accordions but for this template this is what i've done and you have a choice to use some of this or don't use it's up to you so that's it i think for this template as always it is fully optimized there might be some small issues but if there is anything i missed i will of course fix it and upload it but everything else should be fine and i think that the product page this this beautiful menu is something i might be using on some of my own websites very handy very easy to use honestly and yeah i think it looks great and it functions great yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them and I will talk to you in the next video.